Hello world, Mike Newfound Pass back on a Wednesday, a little Wednesday Q&A session. A uh, few people in the chat already. We got Piper John, PJ, Craig, Land Shark Picker. Welcome, welcome. Monty in Texas, Michelle Layton. Good morning. South of Martindale, how's it going? How is it going? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, yeah. Did a bunch of listing yesterday. Got a bunch of good stuff listed. I think I listed uh, 12 items yesterday uh, uh, out of the haul video. We did the, as you, everyone in here probably already knows, we did the haul video a little differently. We uh, did it live on Tuesday, and it was a resounding failure, I think. <laughs> the views on it are actually about 100 views lower than a pre-recorded video, so... But like I said, you got to take chances. You got to take risks. You got to put yourself out there, try something different and tried it. Didn't work. So next week we'll be going back to the pre-recorded uh, haul videos. But anyway, get on with that. So we got uh, Diane Matthews. Good morning, Mike, the maniac picker Hawk. Good morning. Awesome Hawk. Thank you so much for watching that. Do appreciate it. It was a big one. Stick with it. We had some a uh, couple of complainers about the audio and the, I realized the video was jumpy, but that's the change you take with doing a live video. If your internet connection gets interrupted or something happens with anything with the live video, you're at the mercy of the internet connection. And the, the audio I think was fine. It was just, sometimes I had to step away and, uh, but I did change the setting on the mic to, uh, I had it on uh, as a, uh, I have this little book here. I had the mic setting just on a, cardioid setting which means just you know straight in the front where it's going to uh but, but i changed it to an omnidirectional setting so no matter where i'm at with the mic it should sound okay but let me know if it doesn't sound well because there's uh, several different settings with this microphone you see there this yeti microphone little booklet and be sure to keep this right here <laughs> so i can change everything uh let me see here um michelle says not a failure there was another live stream going on at the same time well that's the reason it was a failure you know um yeah if if it doesn't matter if a live stream is going on at the same time or not if i'm if i do it and it doesn't get the views then it's a failure to me personally uh so i'll just have to pre-record and uh I can't go up, you know, if I'm not getting the same views live, I have to just do pre-recorded because going up against the big boys, if it's going to affect me that much, you know, I was like I said, uh, at least a hundred views down from doing it live versus pre-recorded. So, uh, yeah, but you got to try, you know, uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, thanks Monty. Appreciate that. Dan, uh, New Hampshire guy. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Hawk says thought it was fine. Got as far as the Sony TV. That's awesome. That was a, that's one of the things I listed yesterday. It was that Sony, and that was an awesome, awesome find on that Sony. I listed that for two hundred and fifty bucks uh, yesterday. Still hasn't sold, of course, but you know, hopefully that'll sell fairly quickly. That'd be really nice. Thank you, Michelle. I like I said I changed the setting on the mic, so hopefully it uh, yeah picks up. If I have to step like over here, maybe the sound will be the same because uh, like yesterday. With that haul video, I was kind of all over the place and was moving the mic and stepping away. And I think it was just the setting on the mic yesterday. So change the setting and hopefully it'd be better. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Mike the Maniac Picker says he noticed this, his sales picked up with, this week. That's awesome. That was a little bit of a topic I'm going to get into today. So, uh, yeah. Good morning, Georgia Picker. How's it going? Yeah, timing is everything for sure. Shasha, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I thought about that, Michelle, but uh, premieres are tough because premiere you usually want to do in the evening. On the evening time, I want to spend time with my wife. That's and that's the bottom line because she's at work all day, you know, and the evening time is our time. So as much as I love you guys, I want to spend time with my wife in the evening. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Yeah. Hawk says, uh, those are TVs are great for RVs. I have no doubt, you know, I have no doubt. Uh, I've already put it up in my storage, but uh, that was an awesome, awesome find. You have a lot of large items you have to move around. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Sure do. Yep. 
Yeah, but I didn't know how. Yeah, exactly. You're the boss. You absolutely for sure. I didn't know how Premier would work. You know, with trying to tiptoe around all these uh these other live videos during the day. Um. Yeah, I just don't know how it'd work. You know, and and I've said that I've told that to a lot of people. You've got to be you, and you do have to be you to an extent. But when you're a small fish and you got really big fish going up against you you got to work around them because you have no choice you know <laughs> so but anyway it is what it is yeah 100 percent uh, craig land shark picker says any space saver stuff sells well absolutely especially those uh you know, i've covered it before those uh um can openers man those things sell like a boss i wish i could find those you know in the hundreds <laughs> oh gosh good morning danny emm thank you thank you for come, popping in uh so on the live show on monday you know we were obviously talking about february how uh, bad it's been and it has been um for me and there's always exceptions of course um can't take everything as 100 percent gospel because some people have done okay but it's been bad for me so that's all i can go off of is the sales for me personally um so and i've been listing you know you do everything right that ebay wants you to do and there's still no sales okay what else can you change what else can you do and i've through my selling on ebay especially since i've been doing it full time the past three years the majority of the time i've done calculated shipping the majority and that's been okay you know i've done pretty well on it uh through the christmas season this past year i did free shipping i did it fantastic but you know who, who you can never tell if the free shipping or calculated would have been the same because of the holiday season holiday sales or holiday sales they're you know usually going to be pretty pretty good but uh since february has been so tough uh, and after the monday live video i talked to a couple of people that i trust a couple of big uh, ebay sellers a uh, couple of them that aren't even on youtube they're the uh, ebay is what they do and um I decided to to sh to try free shipping again because you know when something's not working you got to try something because what else are you going to do just keep on plugging along with the same results you know what good does that do um so on monday afternoon i changed everything to free shipping not just first class everything and but what i did in combination with that i raised prices across the board 25 percent. everything got raised 25 percent. so w then what happened you know i did that monday afternoon uh sales have been bad like here i'll uh i can't share my screen with you with the software i'm using but i'll just rattle off the numbers here uh, let me go to my seller hub and this is all my main account, of course. That's all I really count. But uh, on Monday, I did literally $12.48, one sale. Bad. The day before that, $42. The day before that, $43. The day before that, $34. The day before that, $69. The day before that, was a little bit better, 202 101 226 Two days of, uh, three days of, zero, two or three days of zeros. Yeah, between February 18th and February 15th, nothing. So two full days of nothing. And then $77 and 133 and then $35. This is terrible. For me, this is terrible. Like I'm used to two, $250 a day. So the past, you know, 15, 16 days, terrible. So after I changed to the, to the uh, free shipping on Monday afternoon, you know, it takes a while for eBay to catch up with anything in their algorithm and their listing list rankings and everything. Tuesday, I did 174.47. Better, better, a lot better. So that was uh, yesterday. Yesterday, I did one, you know, the uh, 174.47. And today, before seven o'clock in the morning, I've had two sales for $312.46. Whew, way better. <laughs> so the past two days since I changed to free shipping on everything and increased my prices 25% across the board, uh, almost $500 in sales. 
So that's why the title re is re uh, reads the way I uh, put it, is the proof is in the pudding. Now, is that a big example? No, it's not. But all you can take, it's just like science. You got to uh, look at the evidence in front of you. Bad sales for a big chunk of time. Great sales since I started doing free shipping. It's not a coincidence. I can't, I don't believe that. And um, a couple of the items that sold are big items um, I, that I've got to pack up today. Uh, one of them I had listed with calculated shipping at like $199 plus calculated shipping. I raised the price on it. Uh, you know, I did 25% at least across the board. I did that at bulk at it, but then I went back in and changed some stuff even higher, big items, because basically I want to be covered if something. If someone in California buys something, someone in Hawaii buys something, Puerto Rico. So this item I had listed for $199, I changed it to $250. 50 bucks will cover me no matter where this thing ships. And it sold. And it sold to someone in Florida. So shipping on this thing is only going to cost like 20 bucks. And uh, so before it would have been $199 plus $20. Well, now I got $250 bucks for it. Bingo, bingo. Love it. Uh, Another big item that sold. I've got to freshen my memory here. Uh, going over to my solds. Oh, yeah, a printer. A printer sold. Um, and, of course, you'll see all this in the sold videos eventually. Uh, this printer, another one I had listed for like $180 or $190 or so, or so plus calculated shipping. I raised it to $250. And it sold. And it's going to Indiana. So another fifty, sixty dollar uh, uh, raise in price. Uh, raised it fifty or sixty bucks, and the shipping on this is only going to be twenty bucks. You know, if that, because it's going to Indiana. So yeah, proof is in the pudding. You know, um, that's all we can go by is the uh, what happens with that stuff. So yeah. Let me see here. Good morning, Candace. How's it going this morning? <laughs> yeah. Let me see here. I'm just scrolling back up here. So now I missed a lot of stuff. Yeah, Craig, uh, February has been rough. Thank the Lord for tax returns. That's another thing. I, You know, that week I had the food poisoning. I was going to do my taxes that week and get everything in my CPA. Of course, I got sick, so I need to do that. Uh, maybe this week, <laughs> if not next week. I got to get that stuff to my CPA. <laughs> uh, Monty says you're getting better quality, but you cut a lot of bread and butter. Uh, do you think that made a difference? I don't because I still have so much bread and butter in my death pile. I'm using a quote there that that has been being listed. So the stuff being listed is no different than before, you know? So, um, yeah, I have been sourcing better quality, but it's still been equalized with bread and butter from my death pile. So, um, yeah, I don't think that's a, a, a cause of anything, but it's a good thought. You know, it is a good thought. Uh, good morning, Sheila. How's it going this morning? Crystal Rose. Good morning, Brian. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Coffee Coffee says, I'm not a conspiracy guy, but it's eBay's platform and they like free shipping. Go by their suggestions. They seem to work better. Not that they reward people, but just saying, I agree. I mean, like I said, and the proof is in the pudding. They want it. You do it. Uh, so I got free shipping and free returns on everything now because that's what they want. You know, and Will it suck if one of these $200, $250 items gets returned? <laughs> Absolutely it will. But uh, you just, what do you do? What else are you going to do? I guess if you can't handle it, you just got to go get a, you know, a cubicle, a cubicle job in the cube farm, as uh, someone calls it. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not willing to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So, but anyway, um, so that's what I got, you know, the, uh, and it's a short-term experiment so far, and, and today's been great. You know, if that's the only items I sell for today, it's still been a great day. But I still got all day the rest of the day, you know, hopefully make some more sales. So, yeah. Uh, Craig, the land chart picker says, I've never understood why they don't publicize how Cassini works. Shouldn't they want all sellers to be successful as possible? Yeah, they should. But 
I don't, I don't understand eBay sometimes, you know, uh, the way they do it. Yeah, absolutely. The more money we make, the more money they make. Reseller man asks, so Mike, you're doing all free shipping. Yes, I changed everything, not just first class, not just anything. I changed it all. And two of the items I sold uh, are going to be priority or FedEx. The other good thing that people don't talk about when you do free shipping is the flexibility. You know, I'm not promising. I put it in as just, you know, economy. You're going to get free economy shipping. You're going to get what I send to you. Uh, so if something's better in, you know, priority regional rates or priority flat rates or FedEx ground or FedEx super, super saver, then that's my choice when I do free shipping, you know? So, yeah. Uh, Will, good, good morning, Will Honda Hangouts. He says you can't sit on your hands and do nothing while things aren't working. If you don't change, you die. That's what I'm saying, you know? And each individual is going to be different, you know? Like I said, there's no uh, cut and dry black and white. Everybody's different, but I knew personally with my listings, I had to change something because it wasn't working. Um, yeah. So I did, and it's working so far. Uh, we'll see next week or, you know, Friday when I come back, we may talk about this again just to update and see how it went. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. The truth, see, just right here, the truth says I never use free shipping or promotional listings for my sales and never been better since 95. I think it all comes down to what you're selling. See, just right there, there's, there's no, you know, that the truth's different than I am and he's different, you know, it's all depends on what you do. All, all I know is what I was doing. Obviously something wasn't working. So I changed it and I, bam, it's working now. So, yep. 100%. Uh, the truth I do best offer, which account for 70% of sales. Yeah. Oh, and that's the other thing I took best offer off of everything. So I did those three things I did. Free shipping, I raised the prices by at least 25% across the board, and I took best offer off of everything. Because if I'm doing free shipping, <laughs> you can, they can keep their uh, best offer to themselves. So we'll see how it works. You know, I'm not saying that I won't change it again in the future. I may, you know, because it's only I'm only two days into this. The two days I've done it has worked, but it doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. So <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, let me see here. Reseller man, what made you change to free shipping? Strictly lack of sales. Uh, uh, you know, I've done everything that a good responsible seller is supposed to do. I list every day. You know, I do a plus 1% promoted listings. I've even ran a few sales and sales were just in the toilet. And not just for a few days. I'm talking about over two weeks in the toilet completely. You know, I went briefly through the... Uh, list you know twenty dollars thirty dollars forty dollars absolute garbage in the toilet so you got to do something and whether it's shifting what you sell completely which i don't see how i can because i sell such a wide variety of stuff you know it's one thing if i just sold clothing i don't just sell clothing it's you know i, I sell a lot of clothing but i sell a ton of hard goods vintage new new in box new with tags old new antique i sell it all so yeah just gotta gotta roll with the punches, you know. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Candace Hicks says, "Do you increase all of your prices by the shipping cost?" I did more, Candace. I I, in general, raise my prices more than everything. Now, twenty five at least twenty five percent across the board. So, say something's twenty bucks, and I raised it to twenty five dollars. That may not cover the entire cost of the shipping on that particular item, but in general, across all the items, which is you know over a thousand, uh, thirteen hundred items, on the average, it's going to be I raise my prices more than the cost of shipping. So yeah. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Hey, reseller Rock, Chad, the reseller Rockefeller. I just watched your video this morning. I'll talk about that too. Chad had an awesome video. He had a uh, awesome haul on some harley stuff and that was a great fantastic buy chad i just wanted to tell you that i commented on your video as well but he paid 75 bucks for a huge lot of harley t-shirts and jackets and stuff and man you're gonna make out like a bandit on that haul and that was just awesome people go uh subscribe to chad and check out his uh his harley stuff haul. that was awesome really enjoyed that 
uh, Brian changing my item back to one day handling was getting great sales for two weeks with two day, but slowing down now. Yeah. I have one day handling as well. And a lot of the times, like the two I sold this morning before seven o'clock, they're going out today. So it'll be same day. So, you know, but just to keep myself safe, I do one day handling. Shasha asked, do you think that eBay is working on the engine that is affecting the slowdown and maybe why the glitch went out to sellers for drop shipping? Probably, you know, and who knows with such a massive behemoth of a website, you know, making little changes, you know, like they had to change stuff for the increase in postal service prices. If that affected, you know, something somewhere else, it's just hard to know. I'm not that technically inclined, but uh, it's hard to believe that you know, when that happens in sales tank, if something, you know, happened, I have no idea. Uh, TLC, welcome, new name. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for the input. I'm relisting at the moment, changing up a bit. Absolutely. That's why I like to do 30 day listings because I can, you know, tinker with listings, you know, take better pictures, change prices, change descriptions, put in better keywords, you know, that kind of stuff. There you go, Candace. See, Candace has a philosophy there. She does do best offer, but only allows best offer five dollars under buy it now price. See, yeah, just to each of their own. Good morning, Lauren. Hot chic thrift. How are you doing this morning? Hope you're doing well. Uh, need to see some content from you, girl. <laughs> Reseller man, do you think that you're getting a boost because you made so many changes to at once? Possibly. That's what's so hard about eBay is you can't tell. I made. Cause I, I made those changes and I changed those three things. I raised my prices, put free shipping on everything and took away best offer. And I shook it up completely <laughs> and something worked, you know, is it coincidence? It, it, that's possible too. It could be complete coincidence, but all I know is in crap sales before really good sales since then. So that's all we got to go by. Right. That is all we got to go by. Let me see here. Reseller Rockefeller, Chad, Reseller Rockefeller says, years ago I did calculated shipping, but eBay system sometimes doesn't calculate it correctly, so I switched to just charging shipping. Yeah, so he does flat rate shipping. So just like uh, Pete, the Craigslist hunter, does uh, flat rate shipping. Uh, Candice, a lot of people do filter search for free shipping on eBay, maybe onto something. Amazon Prime, toilet paper, 100%. People want that. And it's a psychological thing, too. I talked about this with my wife. Uh, Free shipping is a psychological thing, and we're all guilty of it to some extent. If you notice your own shopping habits, you really look at what you buy. Where do you buy it? When's the last time you paid for shipping on something? You know, we're, we're, we're pretty spoiled. So if we're spoiled, I'm talking about me, if I'm spoiled, then everybody else is too. So got to cater to the spoiled. And that's us. <laughs> Chad said he did pretty good. I found one shirt that sells it from Asia that sells 250 bucks. It man is awesome. I knew when I was watching that video and you had those stacks of Harley t shirts, and you're not even counting the jackets. The jackets alone, you're going to be in the big time profit on the jackets. Those t shirts, say you even only average 10 bucks a piece on those shirts, you're going to make out like a bandit, but you're going to do a lot better than that. I know you will. Good morning, Sean Matheny. Thank you for coming in and joining the conversation. Having good stuff this morning. EMM, Danny EMM, why are people paying 200 bucks and up for eBay a month if you have a store subscription? Am I missing? I don't know, Danny. <laughs> you, so you're saying basically people don't have a store and are paying just the listing fees and it can be up to 200 bucks? Uh, I don't know why anybody would do that. You'd have to delve into their numbers, you know, to see uh, whether they're top rated, if they get the top rated plus discount, you know, the 10% off final value fees. Uh, how much stuff they're listing, you know, yeah, you'd have to dig into the numbers at a certain point there. And somebody has done those numbers in a video. I just can't remember what there's a, there's a, uh, at a point that in every store at every point where it makes sense to move up to the next level store, whether it's basic premium or anchor right now I'm at premium, but I'm not going to move up to anchor cause you have to have like 2,300 listings to make sense to move to anchor. So, yeah. Uh, Monty, Monty watched your video as well, Chad. Nice, nice score. Yep. Glenn, the swamp picker. Good morning. How are you doing this morning, bud? Shoo -hoo -hoo. 
Uh, Lauren says she reviews all of her listings that don't sell before relisting them. That's exactly. That's why I do 30 day. You know, I understand the desire to do good to a listing, but, uh, yeah, bit of a control freak on that front. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Lauren. I don't mean to laugh at your day job. I really don't ever, you know, um, uh, yeah. She, uh, Lauren's been working about 60 uh, hours a week for the last month. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Uh, heart pickers. So when did you do your change? I did it Monday afternoon and, uh, Tuesday afternoon is when I started seeing increased volume significantly. So, and welcome Ronnie. Thank you for popping in. Appreciate it. Like your content too, as well, bud. Let me see here. I always say this. I need to start wearing gloves or something. I come down here and my, I'm, I'm okay temperature wise, but my hands start freezing. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, Danny says some people have said all I'm paying $700 a month for my listing on eBay. Is that because they don't have a store? Well, usually like me, I pay on average, probably about 700 a month. Well, I pay for my store, which is however much it is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I have all my final value fees as well. So that's the bulk of my bill of $700 a month is final value fees. It's not listing fees. It's final value fees. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Chad got it there, $700 in fees. So it's all an eBay bill, whether it's, you know, your store fee or listing fees or final value fees. It's all fees. Uh, Ronnie does flat rate for shipping, depending on the item. Lives in the East Coast in Massachusetts. Yep. Yeah, see, Ronnie says when he did uh, calculate it, he got very few sales from the West Coast. Yep, absolutely, because, man, shipping is expensive the West Coast, so. Yep. Uh, Michelle says, good to cancel is going to be in the standard now. And uh, I, I've seen some scuttlebutt about that, and I was wondering what that was. I, I haven't delved into it. I've been busy. I haven't watched. I've heard there's been a few YouTubers do some videos about it. Was that something in the... Uh, the seller update or whatever they sent out yesterday. I didn't get to read it. Danny says, why such high fees? That's crazy. It's because of our volume. It's all based on what you sell. You know, in general, you can bank on at least 10% in final value fees. So if I'm doing, and plus your PayPal fees, which is another, what, two and a half percent. So if I'm doing, you know, six grand a month, well, that's, you know, $600 on average it's not exact on average to ebay right there you're paying 10 percent just right off the top on average to ebay plus another two and a half percent to paypal so yep uh let me see michelle says ebay sent out a mini seller update yesterday good to cancel will be the only option for fixed price listings well <laughs> Uh, Chad asked, what's the temperature you're at? It is pretty chilly this morning. It's going to be in the 40s today. It's in the 30s this morning, I think. So, But I'm in the lowest level of our place, and the lowest level is always the coldest. <laughs> I do have a heater down here. That's why I keep on leaning down and do this. Put my hands on it. <laughs> uh, Ronnie Hartpicker says, uh, free shipping overall just does not work. You can check the solds with free shipping and with paid shipping. It's the same, if not a little better for charge shipping. Okay, well, it's like I said, one size doesn't fit all. All I know is, you know, it's worked the past couple of days and we'll see how it goes from here on out, you know, and if I have to change back to calculate it, I will. So, uh, Danny says, Oh, the money comes off the top of your sale and you don't pay that like literally each month. You, yeah, exactly. That's your final value fee, Danny. 100%. Good morning, Denise. How's it going this morning? Got a couple of Minnesota girls in here. Appreciate you watching. Good morning, Marie. 
uh uncle warren welcome um, uncle warren says for me clothing is free shipping hard goods uh, might be free or flat rate my profit determines what i charge for shipping yep yeah that's why nothing that's why i say nothing is black and white it's all shades of gray and where you're at uh, lauren that's what i like about posh it comes out right away from, yeah exactly i mean I, i'm trying to beef up my posh and and uh other avenues amazon etsy and posh you know to to even all this out so i'm not so reliant on ebay which i am right now right now i'm really ebay heavy but i'm trying to even it all out you know but it's going to take time just going to take time <laughs> ronnie see ronnie already has a a workaround for the good till canceled <laughs> Uh, there's always a way it's around everything, isn't it, Ronnie? 100% is. All love, uh, Lauren, I love the way Posh does shipping. You know, they email you the label, you just box it up, pop it on, and it's done. I love it. I mean, Posh is a 20% fee, but, you know, an extra 10% to make it that easy, it's not that bad. And actually, when you take into account PayPal fees, it's actually only an extra 7.5% or so on average. No, that's okay, Danny. That's why we're here. You know, you're not an idiot. It's if it, just like everything. If I don't know something, then you got to learn, right? You know, there's no like judgment here. We all had to learn at some point, you know, all had to learn everything at some point, whether it's reading and writing or how eBay works, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, moronic pests. I just got a message on eBay. Hopefully it's a legitimate one. Uh, sometimes making any change at all to listing leads to increase sales because uh, to eBay it's activity, which is what they reward. Yeah, it's possible. Like I said, there's no. Uh, it's hard to tell. You know. Uh, let me see here. Hey Tommy, how's it going this morning? You're late. You're truant. Give you. A, what do they call those when I was in school? Uh, detention slip or referral <laughs> i don't know what they call the crap it's been so long <laughs> we still had when i was in school it's way off topic when i was in school we still had one teacher that if your butt wasn't in your seat sitting down by the time the bell rang you get a paddling <laughs> they don't do that stuff anymore but yep this was in high school your butt wasn't in your seat you get paddled no other teacher did that there was just this one teacher Yeah, Denise, I'm going to start, uh, I got to start cross-posting a lot of stuff as well, 100%. Uh, Craig says, uh, acknowledging moronic pest, that's the challenge to it all, was the fact that uh, you changed something specific and just that you changed something. Yeah, it's and it's hard to tell, isn't it, Craig? Because th this is all just a crapshoot. Since there's no, it'd be nice if eBay would have straightforward, this is what we want you to do but but with ebay the way ebay set up there's so many areas shades of gray that you can't really tell if what you did really worked or if it's a coincidence or if you, a combination of the things you did worked it's it's hard to tell see ronnie paid out close to twenty thousand dollars in shipping costs last year yeah I, I'm I'm not looking forward to calculating uh, <laughs> my stuff. I know that just to see that number in black and white, you're like, ooh, ooga. <laughs> uh, let me see here. A demerit. Michelle says demerit. Yeah. I don't. They didn't call it that in my school. But yeah, I've, I've heard of that before. No, thank you, Danny. You guys are why I do it. Uh, sometimes. You, you know, sometimes there's people are different, right? Everybody's different. And, uh, every YouTuber is different. Some people have thick skin. You gotta have pretty thick skin to do this. But me, I just don't like negativity. Never have when I was in school, when I was in the Marine Corps on through with my life, I don't like negativity. So when, and I get, I can't tell you, like sometimes the comments are public on my YouTube page or on a video or stuff, but I get some emails sometimes that people are just, I don't know if they're just miserable assholes in real life or they're just trying to troll, 
but the negativity sometimes gets to me, but uh, I still, I keep coming back for you guys. The positive ones, the one that uh, participate in the chat that, uh, you know, we encourage each other. That's what keeps me coming back. So uh, coffee, coffee says, unlike brick and mortar, there are a lot of mystery issues about uh, listing success online. Just part of having to think on your feet when you run your own business. Yeah. 100%. Like I said, when I took over my brick and mortar stores, it's been 13, 14 years ago. Now it was a, bankrupt business so we had to be like my wife and i put on our thinking caps and uh some stuff are obvious like the place just needed cleaned up but we had to get down into the the nitty-gritty of the marketing you know the advertising campaigns the uh, strategies what we wanted to do you know and uh retail uh, uh, online is the same thing you just got to think about it differently you know because obviously you want to keep your items clean but uh, you know <laughs> yeah there's a lot of things uh, let me see here. I'm trying to keep up with the chat. Sorry. Uh, Brian says, got a message on a collectibles listing with pictures of one of their items asking if it was real or fake. Uh, let me, I know I get crazy questions all the time on eBay, you know, and I, I I'm just kind of ashamed to admit, but if I get a stupid question on eBay or if that question is already answered in the listing, sometimes I just ignore it. Cause I don't have time to deal with someone that's too stupid to read the item description on eBay. Cause more than likely they're going to be too much trouble to deal with anyway. You know, if they're that dumb, uh, Tommy says when it all said and done, posh is cheaper in my opinion, shipping time to list promoted listings, returns, cancellations, questions. Yeah, absolutely. Posh is way better. And like I said, the, the 20% is not that bad when you look at it, you know, it really isn't. I just wished I could pick up the volume of sales, which I'm, I'm a, taking steps towards that, you know, so. Yeah. Craig says, I think to be really successful with posh, it needs to be your primary platform. Yeah. It may be your primary focus. You're right, Craig, you know, I've never heard of grit. That's just, I guess my head's been in the sand. <laughs> that was a little pun there. <laughs> Crack myself up. <laughs> Uh, Denise says posh friends out there question. Do pot does posh hold your money until item is delivered? Yes. They, you actually got to be rated by the purchaser before you can get your money. I'm sure somebody's already answered that cause I'm behind in the chat, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Uh, Charles ball says, how many sales did you get since the change? It's not the dollar amounts accounts. It's the number of sales. If the number of sales, it doesn't create, uh, I disagree, Charles. 100% disagree. The dollar count is the only thing that matters. Uh, let me see here. Hawk says there's more good than bad in the world. I, that's what I hope every day. Uh, just like, you know, I mean, kindly disagreeing someone like I kindly disagree with Charles. There's one thing, but some people just get vile when we disagree with them. You know, I don't, I'm not going to like, that's his opinion. I disagree with it. So what opinions are like, you know what? <laughs> uh, Candace says they're always going to be butt hurt folks. Thank goodness for us. Cool people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Tommy says, same here. I get the, is that the actual item in the picture all the time? <laughs> Ignore. <laughs> yeah. I think Candace says uh, uh, her cool card was shipped, but still in transit. I think mine was lost in the mail. Tracking shows us delivered, but I never received it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mo. Mo flips. Rocky Brook is Mo flips. If everyone doesn't know, so no. I'm seriously considering Tommy. Like, I've tried the. Uh, I'm talking to Tommy Bernard here. I've tried the uh, retail arbitrage game in my area, and it doesn't really work that well for population. But I'm seriously considering like hitting Ross and 
Marshalls and TJ Maxx a little bit harder here, or even getting out of the area a little bit and beefing up that game. You know, I'm just concerned about the time versus the, you know, the reward. But you don't know until you try, right? Just like everything we've talked about today. <laughs> Monty says, you have to ask if you're not sure. My dad says that's what your mouth is for. Yep, 100%. Uh, Mo, uh, Mo, I guess, had a sale and he hasn't waited for payment. Go ahead and file non-paying bidder, Mo, because if they haven't paid after five days, they're probably not going to. So file that non-paying non uh, bidder thing. Get your, your final value feedback and relist it. Don't wait around on people. I know that that sucks, but it's part of it, you know. Keith, command post picker, said he burned his cool card in the 70s. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, when you go to the, uh, go to your My eBay page, and there should be a drop down by the item, and there's a whole group of things by the item, and one of them is a, it's like file, uh, buyer has not paid or payment not received or something to click on that and it walks you through the process so basically once you file that thing you, they have to pay in like a day or two and if they don't uh, you can close it out and you get your uh, final value feedback thanks Danny have a good one uh, Denise another posh question so if you have a lot of listings how do you keep track of the items you have gotten paid for and have not gotten paid for is it a mess am I understood well, I've never had an item on Denise posh where once on posh if they buy it it's paid for right I've never I've, I haven't I've only had probably 10 sales on posh total so every time I've sold an item it's been paid for instantly so I, I don't know maybe a Lauren or somebody else can pipe in. Can someone buy something on Posh without paying for it? Um, I don't know. Uh, Shaw Shaw is still waiting on payment for three items from Sunday night. One emailed and asked to pay Thursday, which is fine, but no word from the others. Yeah, that's a bummer. Land Shark Picker Craig, my brother from another mother. 64 viewers everyone show me some love show me some love because i need it <laughs> i definitely need it 66 watching you guys are awesome i do appreciate that a lot you know it does mean a lot to me uh tom yeah tommy do that i appreciate that he says he'll send me his haul from yesterday eight hours pretty nice day because to me, it's Tommy. I'm sure you're the same way, Tommy. You're a businessman just like I am. Uh, we spend sun. The only day I source is Sunday, essentially. I go out thrifting all day on Sunday. And uh, if I can spend one more day a week, like during the week, just doing whether it's retail arbitrage or doing Ross's and those other stores, even if I have to get an hour out of my area, I'm willing to do it because, you know, I need to beef it up, of course. Oh, no, that's okay, Denise. Um, in your Posh account, you could, there's a spot you can go to to see exactly the funds in your account, and you can request transfer. I'm sorry if I'm not answering your question properly, Denise. You've been a supporter for a long time, but limited experience with Posh as well. So, One time I forgot there was 120 bucks sitting in Posh, and I forgot to go and initiate a transfer. And I was like, hey, bonus 120 bucks. <laughs> uh, oh, no problem, Denise. We appreciate it. Uh, Tommy plus all new attack stuff. So different game. How far is District Heights? That's where my money is. Uh, not that far. Not that far away. That's why I'm thinking about... Um, kind of this Baltimore suburbs area. Um, it gets a bad rap deservedly, but uh, I think that's where I would get more bang for my buck First, Northern Virginia area. Northern Virginia is a very affluent area. So there's not a lot to be found clearance wise because stuff gets bought up before it can go on clearance. 
but the Baltimore suburbs uh, is not as affluent. So I think that's uh, where I would have to go if I want to do this. Of course, I have to time it right to miss a, a rush hour because rush hour in this area is, God, it's awful. <laughs> it is just awful. There you go, Michelle. Michelle's talking about posh, how to transfer and stuff. There you go, Lauren. Talk about we were talking about how to you have to go in and manually transfer your funds from Posh, Lauren. I'm gonna write that down, Tommy. You're in trouble now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there's there's no way possible. You know, can impact each other. You know, maybe we can meet up, Tommy. You want to meet up? We can do a combo video. Do you do videos, Tommy? I was I was I was wondering that the other day actually. I'm actually going to go over to your channel. Tommy's got 39 subscribers. Looks like he just has some concert videos though. <laughs> I'm going to subscribe to you anyway. Do you want to start doing videos, Tommy? <laughs> There you go. They, Tommy says they get trucks every day. No way they run out of inventory. That's what I'm saying. There's always enough for everyone. I see, I see flippers and uh, stuff in thrift stores every Sunday, but I always find stuff. There's enough out there to go around for sure. But I got that written down, Tommy District Heights, and I'm going to look it up, see how far it is from me and stuff. Tommy only posts Dave Matthews flips. <laughs> I didn't see what concerts. Yeah, I just went to Dave Matthews concert not too long ago, but uh, he has Ants Marching or something, 21 Pilots and Judah the Lion. Yeah. <laughs> have to watch those video clips, those concert clips. Uh, uh, Mo Flips, Rocky Brooks says, should I turn on unpaid assistance with eBay? So after four days of non-payment, they automatically open the case. Sure, I would. You know, it, it makes you, uh, it's automatic. That way you don't have to think about it. Uh, as to uh, Lauren, uh, we saw Dave Matthews not too long ago here in D.C. And we saw him probably five times total. Me and my wife over the past 13 years. We've also seen Counting Crows a bunch. We really like Counting Crows. We've seen them five or six times. Uh, Tommy says, I don't make sourcing videos yet. I have footage, but no time to work on it. And I get it, man. This stuff takes up a lot of time. I get it. But maybe your uh, premiere can be a combo video. We'll meet up. and <laughs> John, the Cincinnati Picker. How's it going this morning, bud? Thank you for coming in. We have talked about a lot of nonsense this morning and chime in with your wisdom, John. We all need some wisdom this morning. <laughs> uh, Dan, the New Hampshire guy says he does two days and turn on that. He was talking about the non-paying uh, bitter thing. So, yep. Sorry. My nose is a little bit runny. Tommy Bernard, the cover band, are friends of mine, and you will never see another cover band on another level. That's awesome. I watch your clips. I just subscribe to your channel. I watch the clips. I like to have... That's why in the... Uh, oh, that's awesome, John. John says he saw Counting Crows last summer. Yeah, they put on... We've seen them probably, like I said, six or seven times, and they always put on a good show. And we've seen them in big venues, and we've seen them in small venues, and it's always the same. They put on a good show. But I'll watch those videos, Tommy, later. I like to have music in the background when I'm listing. It's good for my mental state to have some cool music on <laughs> in the background while I'm listing. Absolutely, Denise. I have. Here we go. I haven't even opened this. I found this at a garage sale, and it's brand new. This is August and everything after. It's brand new, the deluxe edition. I got this for a quarter. I don't even want to open it because we already have it, obviously. But uh, <laughs> got that for a quarter a long time ago, and it's been sitting over on my CDs. Yep, two disc special edition. 
It's one of my favorites. Uh, let me see here. Keith, the command post picture with a lot of thumbs up. We like it. We love the thumbs up. Lots of Josh. Good morning, bud. Lots of Josh is a rising star in the YouTube community. You guys check out Josh if you haven't already. He's a some dropping some knowledge. We'll forgive him that he's an army dude. <laughs> got a veteran marine here and keith command post pickers a veteran marine as well so <laughs> but all everyone's welcome army navy even air force my dad was there my dad was air force <laughs> uh craig says i don't know why ebay doesn't require immediate payment to check out for everything yeah you need, i think they should as well i think maybe that's something that'll change once they move over to their own payment system when ebay gets that fully instituted I'm one of the ones that was a fan from that from the beginning, like eBay doing their own payments. So we don't get double hit on like, if someone wants to return something and they lose on eBay, they can open one on PayPal. Yeah. Cincinnati. Okay. John, the Cincinnati picker has some wisdom for us. So everybody listen, listen up people. Listen, John says my wisdom. If the cops show up when you're dumpster diving, don't fight them. <laughs> I've got an interesting video about that coming up later today. All right. I'm going to watch it, John. You bet. This sounds fun. <laughs> I don't think I would fight a cop anytime, especially not if I'm dumpster, dumpster diving. <laughs> oh, gosh. You guys are a riot. <laughs> I don't know, Denise. I, I don't know. I'm a, I don't know. Denise likes my... My Counting Crow CD. I guess it's like everything. Everything's for sale for the right price, right? <laughs> you got my PayPal email. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't even know what these things sell for, honestly. I, you know, obviously, I'm not going to. You've been a big Super Chat, you know, supporter. So I'd give it to you for whatever it costs on eBay, you know. Uh, Lauren says she's terrified dumpster dive. I'm afraid the cops will come. Yep. Yeah. It, it's always a risk. You know, obviously you want to check your local municipality laws, county laws and stuff. Like I can't do it around here because it's against the, uh, Prince William County regulations. Tommy Bernard picked up some hats. Oh, that, oh, so yeah, John would definitely help you out with that. Tommy, 100%. Oh, yeah, I, we understand, Monty. Uh, let me see here. Absolutely. Yeah, Keith, command post picker. Josh is, lots of Josh is an officer in the Army, if everyone didn't know here. And uh, Keith, the command post picker, says, but you still have to call him sir. And that's true. If everybody doesn't know that, see, like, Keith and I were enlisted Marines. That means we were, you know, enlisted, whether, you know, low end is non-NCO, our friends, NCOs and stuff. But, uh we're enlisted in the Marine Corps. It doesn't matter that we're in the Marine Corps. If Josh is an army officer and we came across him, we'd still call him, sir. We would call an army officer, sir. We'd call a Navy officer, sir, or an air force officer or a coast guard for that matter. If you're an officer, you're a sir. And that's it. Bottom line. It doesn't matter which branch you're in. You're a sir, but I'm out now, Josh. So you're Josh. <laughs> Joe, the family flips. Good morning, Joe in Conway, Arkansas. How are you doing this morning, bud? Shasha, I think if you're caught in a dumpster, you should say that a box was laying on the ground. Yeah, absolutely. That's I've I've never been caught. I've rarely dumpster dove anyway. But if I was caught dumpster diving, just say I'm just looking for some shipping boxes. You know, most cops are going to be you know level head and go. Yeah, but you know, make sure you don't make a mess. Blah blah blah. Okay, Denise, I will. I'll, uh, I think you're, I think we're friends on Facebook, right, Denise? And, uh, I'll just list it at, you know, at or below average price on eBay. 
of course, probably media mail shipping would be the cheapest on that. So I'll do that for you. Good morning, Margo, Florida Hidden Treasure. Margo's also been one that she, Margo, when did you subscribe to me? How many subscribers did I have when you subbed to me? Margo was like in the first 50 as well. I mean, I remember her being one of the very first. Yeah, Mo's trying to get to a thousand subs. We're trying to get Craig the Landshark picker to a thousand. So, I mean, I implore you if you're in here and most of the people in the chat already have, if you're not subscribed to Craig the Landshark picker, please subscribe to him. We really want to get him monetized because we may have something for you guys. If we can, once we get Craig monetized, we don't know yet, but uh, yeah, let's just get him to a thousand. Candace says just that, just that crazy. If you're caught dumpster diving, this is my house. You're trespassing. Get off my lawn. <laughs> uh, you're, you're hilarious girl. You are hilarious. Woo. Yeah, Craig's put out some good content recently. Yep. Well, hit me up. I think you can find me through uh, the RVA Flips group. You know, I think I posted in there in the RVA Flips group and in John, the Cincinnati Pickers group about my haul video going to be, going to be live. So uh, you can, you know, put two and two together. You know who I am. So friend me on there and I'll just I'll message you and let you know when I list this CD let's see here Brian says speaking of media mail shipping was listing something this morning on the app and it wasn't available as an option had to choose through the website well that's 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 a weird Maybe they, you know, they're always messing stuff up. So maybe they messed that up, you know, <laughs> so I got a kitty yelling at me. Oh, that is true, Mo. I don't know why I would list it. Yeah. When I could just sell it here directly. Yeah. Duh. We're such an eBay state of mind. They got us brainwashed. Oh yeah. Glenn could use some subs too. He's at 767. So. Glenn's a good dude. It'd be nice to get all these people to a thousand. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Keith. Kelly, the ecom mom. Welcome. Kelly, the ecom mom is up to 76 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. That's what it takes. You know, that's, you know, it's, we, first you want to get content and then you want, you know, you're already socializing stuff, but once you have content, you know, uh, other YouTubers are more likely to, uh, uh, put your channel out there cause there's actually content, you know? So, uh, yeah, I think I was, I was up to 30 or 40 videos when I got my first shout out by Andy, the parrothead picker. I think it's hard to remember, but yeah. Uh, Denise, that's you know my first name is Michael, so uh, I'm not going to say my last name on here, even though you can find out on Facebook. But it's Michael, and uh, like I said, if you go back and find that, uh, I'm doing my. I did a, put a link on my live haul video on those Facebook groups. Yeah, <laughs> Margo says I'm not, not interesting enough to make videos, but that's what I thought too, Margo. I didn't think. I was interesting enough at all to do videos, but here we are over 1500 subscribers and, uh, I'm, I'm doing something right. I still don't know what that is. <laughs> See, Margo, you're funny. That's hilarious. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone knows faded glory sales. That's hilarious. Joe, the family flips is, uh, got the subscribers, but needs 5,000 more watch minutes for monetization. That's awesome. You know, what's funny, Joe is I, I was flipped more often than not. Most times, uh, YouTubers get the, uh, subscribers, the thousand subscribers before the, uh, 4,000 watch hours. I had the watch hours 
before my thousand subscribers. I was flipped, which is weird, but that's what happens sometimes. Candace Six is up to 183 subscribers. And she's going to drop kick a puzzle for Tommy when she gets to 200. <laughs> I think we get Candace Six to 200 to see her drop kick a puzzle. <laughs> Uh, hey, Craig, turn the cam on and talk 100%. Uh, let me see here. There's Candace's channel. Uh, Craig, thank you for linking that. Uh, let's get Candace to 200 subscribers because I want to see her drop kick a puzzle. <laughs> Kelly says I get in front of the camera and my brain goes, duh, that's why you got to make a list. We all do that. You got to make your, it's not necessarily a script. It's just a uh, crib notes. You know, I make a little, try to think about what you're going to talk about and uh, make you a list because <laughs> I do the same thing. 100%. Keith, the command post picker says, are you, uh, Mike, are you using Rolo or Dymo? I use the Dymo 4XL. I've had it for uh, two and a half years or so, and uh, I've heard great things about the Rolo, and I'd probably buy one of those if I needed one, but the, the Dymo works great. Still going strong two and a half years later. It would be nice if it was wireless, which I think they make now, but the wired version works just fine, so I'm going to keep on rolling with it until it craps out. Uh, Mo, if you go to, let me, I can tell you specifically here. If you go to your channel, well, of course now the YouTube won't. Oh crap. Sorry about that guys. Dead air, dead air, dead air. Sorry. <laughs> If you go to two, I don't remember the top of my head because I can't remember. If you go to your channel tab on your creator studio and you go to monetization, it'll show you exactly how many minutes you have unless you're already monetized. If you're already monetized, it won't show that anymore. And then there's another spot you can, under your analytics, if you go to analytics, And there's a spot there for watch time minutes and you can click on that and it'll show your last 28 days by default, but you can also do a drop down box and show lifetime. And I'm doing this as I'm speaking here. So my lifetime watch minutes are 703,367. So yeah, that's how you do that. Let me see here. Well, thanks thanks for subbing to Candace Sheila. I'm sure she appreciated it. We can get her to 200 pretty easily, I hope. Uh, Shasha says her husband was a cop for over 40 years. I don't watch the shows. I heard Sanford and Seminole. Oh, I don't, sorry, I missed something in the chat. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, Monty's been a long-time subscriber as well. Appreciate it, Monty. You're always appreciated. Okay, so I'm going to do my uh, YouTube recap real quick before we wrap it up. Thanks to everyone for watching for an hour here. Liz, welcome. You're all right. Uh, go back and watch this. We're going to do our YouTube recap and wrap it up, but uh, thanks for popping in. The main YouTube app, we got 1,527 subscribers. Haven't gotten very many of the past couple of days. Dropped some, went up some. So a net gain of like one the past three or four days. Which is, nah, is what it is. Over to the YouTube Studio app and our analytics. 780 real-time views the past 48 hours. With the, uh, this video, 141 views the past 48 hours, and the uh, haul video with 250 the past 48 hours. That's why I'm saying there was a flop because usually that would be 350, 100 more views the past 48 hours after I drop a haul video. But 
you know, you got to try stuff. Uh, 164,812 watch minutes the past 28 days with 12,166 views the past 28 days. 13 and a half minutes average view duration. That's been consistent for a long time now. Revenue the past 28 days, $85.33. And that is always held firm at 75% ad revenue and 25% super chats. Appreciate all the super chatters. 108 new subscribers the past 28 days and yada, yada, yada. Top video of the past 28 days is episode 80. What sold 12,368 watch minutes. So, yep, that's the uh, recap. So what you got with that? Uh, let me see here. Thank you, Kelly. I'm sure Candace appreciates it. And Joe with the family flips. Yeah, Sheila, it's, it's all about work, isn't it? Get the work. Oh, yeah, Sanford's north of Orlando, isn't it? Because I, I was in Orlando for, I lived in the company condo back when my uh, nine to five days, my uh, I stayed in the company condo for a couple months in Orlando, and we had a couple people that lived in Sanford, I think. Okay, guys, so that's it. Uh, wrap it up. Thanks to everyone for uh, uh, participating in the chat. All you guys are awesome. Um, yeah, thanks to all of our subscribers, our super chatters. All you guys are awesome. Appreciate it a bunch. Uh, Denise, hit me up on Facebook. If you can, we'll get this uh, Counting Crow CD to you. Uh, yeah, so uh, look out to uh, filming, videoing a What Sold video this afternoon, and it'll drop tonight for patrons tomorrow for public on youtube so uh thanks guys for participating appreciate all you guys see you later